Hello, it's Misa here, and I'm back with another coloring haul. Um, as always, I'll be showing you all the coloring books that I got for this month, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first book I got is Flora from Maria Trolley. Um, this is obviously her newest book, and I'm pretty sure everyone's had this one on pre-order, like I did. So, uh, the images are very similar to her previous uh, books, but I think there's more girls in this book. Which I kind of like. Um, <laughs> uh, to be honest, I didn't really like her art style at the beginning, like when I saw Twilight Garden. But um, after I saw Nightfall, I kind of just fell in love with it. And <laughs> this picture is so sweet. I really like this picture. Yeah, so after Nightfall, I fell in love with this uh, her art style. So I just kind of have to get every single one of her books now. Um, she had one called Botanicum. And just the other day, she actually um, announced that she will be releasing the... English version of that book I think it'll be around sometime in March next year so I'm super super excited about that book and I can't wait to get it because I think from what I've seen on YouTube I think um that one should be my favorite book from her because I actually love the pictures in that book so much and I was really sad when yeah there was no English version anyways um the next book I got is World of Cats from Sun Life Drawing um, this book is just filled with so many super super duper cute cats and it's just so sweet and cute and adorable and uh, it's so yeah it's just so cute. Um, Some Life Drawing actually released World of Mice as well but I think it was more uh, directed towards kids. Um, they had a colour by number version and a I guess yeah the colouring book version. But uh, they're also going to release an adult version of the Colour by Number and I don't know what's taking so long for that book to come out but I'm, I'm going to get that one. I think it's going to be like my first Colour by Number book so I'm super excited about that as well. Anyways, um, paper in this book is their typical paper and it kind of reminds me of the Jade Summer book so anyways, yeah, super super cute. Um, the next book I got is Unicorns and Pegasus from Zenzi Creative. I absolutely love the books Zenzu comes out with and I think I've gotten pretty much almost all of them except for the first few that they released because I didn't really like the art style but all the um, latest book I really really love the art style they make it all look so whimsical and dreamy and the way they do the eyes um, in their book is just so nice it's actually just like nothing to it it's like a blank circle but I don't know, somehow the way they do it just, it's so, I love it, I don't know, something about it. Anyways, um, as always, they have uh, two copies of each images in this book. And the unicorns in Pegasus are just so beautiful. I think one of the nicest unicorn books I've ever seen. They look so majestic and elegant and just so dreamy. Yep, so there's that one. And uh, next one I got is Anime Doodle Girls from Jenny Luan. This is volume 4. Um, so she's actually got three other books from this series. Um, I don't have any books from this series. This is the first one. But I do have all the books from her um, Chibi Whimsy Girls. Chibi Whimsy Doodle Girls series. But yeah, I decided to get this one because um, the inspiration for this book is actually Fairies and Flowers. And I saw, I first saw this on her Instagram, like while she was working on it, and I thought that was they were really, really pretty. And they kind of were different from the kind of uh, style that she had for her other three books in this series. So yeah, I really like this book. I really like this picture. So yeah, each girl is um a fairy, and they like they're like uh different flowers. I don't know much flowers, but. Could this be a, I don't know, I don't know what flower this is. <laughs> yeah, anyways. So yeah, super, super cute. I like it a lot. Okay, next book I got is Magic of Flowers from Heather Valentine. I think this is one of her newest ones. Um, uh, the good news is that she started printing on white paper again instead of the creamish yellow paper she had in her... Uh, illuminations book I really didn't like that but I'm glad she's going back to white so this book is really really uh, it's got, got really pretty pictures but then 
some of the images are also like this. They're very blurry and I don't like them. But I guess after you colour them, it's okay. But I don't know. The quality of some of these images are just not quite there for colouring books. But anyways, uh, this is one of my favourite images in this book. This is not so much one of the pictures that I like. Uh, this is another one that I really like. But then she has a lot of um, pictures with these kind of characters. Uh, I think they're sprites. So, yeah. Um, typical Amazon thin paper. So that's the latest one from Hello Valentine. I'm a huge Hello Valentine fan, so I kind of have a lot of her books. <laughs> okay, the next book I have is Little Gypsy from Sherry Baldy. Again, this is one of her newest books. Um, like her other books, she has uh, two copies of each image. But uh, I think she um, the format of the book is different. Usually she puts them like the two images behind each other. But this time she decided to put them like the first set is in the first half of the book. And the second set is on the second half of the book. So yeah. Anyways, uh, this book is really cute. I decided to get this one because it has a lot of moons and uh, feathers and dream catchers and I kind of like that kind of look. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that kind of look. I'm not into gypsies as much but yeah, because of these feathers and dream catchers and moons and bubbles I guess, I decided to get this book. It's pretty cute. But um, not one of my favourites so yeah, there's this book. Um, next one I got is Mermaids from Samantha Lewis. I think just last month I got her other book, uh, The Fairy Portraits, and I absolutely loved those pictures. And I wasn't sure if I wanted this book, but I got it anyway because I wanted to support her and I love mermaids and... Huh, but this is the cover image. I think it's one of the best images in this book. But, um... Once I received it and looked at it, I kind of just didn't like this book that much. Um, this is the other picture I really like in this book. Other than those two, I kind of don't like the images all that much. So, yeah. I, I like her fairy book a lot more. and I think if I had more time to think about it, I might have not picked this book up. But, um... But for collection and to support her, I decided to get it anyway, so, yeah. Um, next one I got is also a mermaid's book. It's Kawaii Mermaids from Sora Illustrations. I wasn't going to get any more books from Sora Illustrations since my last haul. Um, but because it's a mermaid book and it's kawaii, chibi version, I had to get it because I love mermaids and I love chibi-esque images. So, I just had to. She kind of reminds me of Jasmine. <laughs> uh, and that's Ariel. But, um, it's pretty cute. Um, that one's got a dragon. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, so yeah, um, oh, wait a second. It's another Sailor Moon inspired one. So... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about um, Sora illustrations, but I think they get the inspiration from other anime characters, but I don't know. It's pretty cute. I'll colour in it. <laughs> I like it, but yeah, just be careful. Okay, next one I got is Fanciful Fantasy from um, Sassy Colouring. Um, it's actually by uh, Sasha Cook, is her name. Um... Yeah, this is her newest book. Um, so this book, it's a bit different from usual. It is, they do give you duplicated um, copies of images, but the first one is in black line, and the second one is in faint grey line. So, yeah, that's the first time I've seen that being done, and I think it's pretty cool. But this book has pretty sweet images. I personally prefer the black line art. <laughs> so cute. But, um, yeah. Another dragon. So cute. Ah, uh, 
beautiful picture. Um, the paper again is Amazon paper. I don't know. I kind of have like a love hate relationship with um the Sasha Cook's images. Like sometimes I'll be like I really like images. Other times I'll be like, nah, not really my cup of tea. But anyway, it's super cute. Um, this book is actually pretty thick as well. So I think there were like forty. So 80 images all together, so pretty thick book. Okay, next one I got is Sweet Retreat from Tabitha Barnett. Oh my, I've wanted this book for so long. I think I ordered it um, on Book Depository, but um, I think they had trouble getting the stock, so I had to wait like over a month, almost two months for this book to get to me. But um, yeah, <laughs> once I got it, um, I'm super happy about it, but... Anyways, it's book is filled with so many sweets and desserts and candy, and I love candy and uh, desserts. So this book was, I don't know, uh, it satisfied me. <laughs> um, it's super super cute. It has a lot of sweet images in it. Um. I kind of like the images where she has, um, I guess, like a, a village kind of look to it, as opposed to these kind of images. So, but, and I just hope she had more of those, but she didn't have that many in this book. But it's super, super sweet. I really like this book. And, um, oh yeah, she also has some, so like, she has all the pictures in white background, but then she only picks like some of the images to have black black backgrounds so it's not all of the images with black backgrounds it's just like a select few don't know why she did that I would have uh, preferred uh, duplicates of all images but yeah I don't know that's that book um next one I got is Inky Mandela's from Helen Elliston I think everyone should know Helen from those uh oh what are those books called the colorist effects books where she teaches you how to uh, color but um I decided to look at her coloring books and when I saw this book I'm just like wow I should have known about this book sooner um her mandalas are so yeah like they're so unique and uh, some of them are just not I mean that one's mandala I like but look at all the details in the owls for the mandalas and that one's just not a very typical mandala, basically. I mean, she has some normal ones. But I just found this really unique. Oh, there was what a penguin one in here. Oh, wow. Um, let me see if I can find the penguin one. If you watch my channel for long enough, you all know that I absolutely adore penguins. Oh, here it is. This is the penguin one. Yeah, and there's another one of these books. I think it's called oh no, mixed mandalas or inky mixed mandalas. I don't know. But there's a second book of this uh, in this series for mandalas, and I will get it one day. But um, yeah, Amazon books right now for me are pretty expensive because of the low exchange rate for Australia. So I have to hold off on buying books from Amazon for a bit. So yeah. Anyways, my next book I got is Dragons Assorted from Elizabeth Rose Best. I saw this book from Evie Patsa, Patsy. i sorry, I forgot your name. But Evie, I saw it on her channel. And I fell in love with it, obviously. I'm not a dragon person, but when I saw this book, I kind of just immediately became a dragon person and started looking for more dragon books. <laughs> But um, yeah, um, this book is so cute, dragons. The paper is also really thick. It's, it's almost cardstock-like. So, um, I got this from Etsy, actually, from the artist herself, I believe. Her Etsy store is called Inuki Books. Um, if you want the link, just uh, uh, comment below and I can give you the link. Um, but really, really sweet looking dragons. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, there's a little mouse hiding down here. But really sweet, whimsical, 
dragons and yeah I'm just in awe there's just another flying mice really really cute book okay next book I got is um a pick candle book this is from Zainab Khan and she goes by pick candle on YouTube and I also bought this book directly from her Etsy store pick candle <laughs> And this was her first colouring book that she released. I had this on hold for a while. I wanted to wait for more books from her so I can buy them together and save on shipping. But um, she uh, kept restocking this book. And um, this one last time I saw her and restock it. And she stated that this would be her last restock of this book. So I took that opportunity to buy it because I was worried that I would not be able to buy it anymore afterwards because she did say last restock but you never know she might restock it <laughs> but I absolutely love her doodles they are so cute I mean look at this image it's so sweet I mean it, even though this book is kind of sold out at the moment on her store um she still has the digital versions that you can get Oh, she also mentioned that she'll be releasing three new colouring books. Three? Three, 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 three. Oh, wait, that's six. She'll be releasing three new colouring books the coming months. So, I'm really excited to get those ones. <laughs> really, really excited. And, yeah. Okay, the next book, the next bunch of books I got are actually Chinese books. And I got them all from AliExpress. The first one I got is Gorgeous Wedding Dress. This is from the infamous Dadana that I think Karis all over YouTube know of. And this is the latest from her or his. I don't know if, I don't really know if it, uh, this is a she or he artist. <laughs> but um, this is the latest. As usual, it comes with like this poster kind of thing. And so this is. This book is similar to the um, the uh, Flowers and Sweet Girls book that uh, that was released a while back, a year ago maybe. So you have the wedding dress on this side and the girl wearing the dress on this side. Again, the dress and the girl wearing it. I really like this concept and um, I'm looking forward to more releases in this series. So beautiful they actually have the names of yeah, the dress as well like this one's called a bird's poem oh this one's called rapunzel i love rapunzel and the oath of mirror the anthem of priscilla very very pretty images and the paper is pretty thick as well so yeah, it's pretty it's pretty thick but not like thick thick so I think it, oh this one's fairy in the clouds. It's a pretty dress. Yeah. So a lot of pretty wedding dresses. I absolutely love this book. Oh, Heart of Ocean. That's that's gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of Dada Mao and I can't wait to see what else they have in store for us. And I hope to see more from the series. Because <laughs> I love it. I think it's my favorite series uh, ever from coloring books anyways the last bunch of books I got is these six Chinese princess coloring books um I guess they're all pretty similar in style but they have different themes for example this one is fantasy girls so they all come with like a colored image on the left and a lined art on the right and I thought this would be perfect for me so I can practice colouring and being and trying to copy the colours on this side. I think it'll be a good learning experience for me. Oh, this one's actually flipped. Oh wait, what am I saying? It's right coloured on the left. <laughs> Never mind. Um so this one's fantasy girls. Oh, I love this one. I also love the backgrounds. I think I'll I can learn some backgrounds like background styles from this book 
Oh, not this one, but from these books. And this one's called Playful Fairies. Again, same concept. Very, very pretty. Um, the next one is Perfect Bride. Oh, I forgot to mention that at the end, back of each of these books, they also have like a, a double spread posters. So it goes on both ways like this. Um, I do have flip-throughs of all these on my channel, so if you want to see, obviously, the rest of the images, you can go check them out. So this is Perfect Brides. I think this one is a lot of people's favourite. Personally, it's not my favourite, <laughs> but a lot of people seem to like that one. This one is called, uh, this one's actually called Super Cute Sweethearts. And, yep, super cute. Okay, this one is called Dream Goddess. I actually think this one is one of my favourites. Because I kind of like the, um, uh, the traditional Chinese dresses kind of stuff. Like these things. So pretty. I mean, I can totally learn how to draw color these eyes from that to that. That will be awesome. <laughs> and lucky last, fairy tale princess. I think that's supposed to be Snow White. I don't know who all the other ones are. <laughs> there must be somebody. So that's that one. So yeah, that's all the uh, colouring books that I uh, got this month. Um, uh, if you're new to my channel, um, I do monthly hauls every month. And I do flip-throughs for every single book that I get. And uh, they're on my channel. Uh, if they're not on my channel yet, they will be. And... Um, yeah, if you like uh, what I do, um, please do um, subscribe to me. If you enjoy my video, please do give me a, a thumbs up. It kind of, it does help um, people become aware of my channel and my videos. So, yeah, the more people that watch the, I guess, I don't know, it's more um, motivating <laughs> to create these uh, flip fruits and um, videos. And, um, I, th I think, um, oh yeah, um. So I usually uh, post four flip throughs per week, but um, I think from this week onwards, I'll only be posting three flip throughs per week because I'm, I think um, the amount of books that I'm getting is going to kind of decrease quite a bit due to the current uh, economical situation. It's pretty bad in Australia. I think it's pretty bad worldwide as well. Um, the exchange rate is really, really low right now in Australia, and uh, because I get a lot of my new books from Amazon, it's become became kind of super, super expensive. It was expensive to begin with, and now it's become even more expensive. So, yeah, I think I'll be I'll be trying to control myself a bit more and only get books that I really, really want. And so, yeah, um, I might have a decrease in flips. Uh, current book flips in the coming months but we'll see what happens hopefully I don't know <laughs> anyways uh, I don't want to leave you on a, such a depressing note I have some good news um I previously mentioned that I'm planning to buy a house and that seems to be moving forward um I might tell you guys a bit more about it but um there's still going to be some wait before I can actually move into my home because I'm actually building a house. So, yeah, it's going to take a while. and it, But it's happening and hopefully by... Oh, it's going to be like around maybe one and a half to two years, okay? So hopefully I can get better videos, more videos, more video content, a possible studio tour, 
uh, more more um more inside look at my uh, coloring book collection my coloring book supplies maybe some of my uh, finished colored pages i'm really nervous to show those <laughs> but um yeah hopefully uh things could get better for my channel as well because i don't know I, i'm not really doing much for it at the moment i just do it uh it's just a side hobby i do pay for all these books that i i buy um so yeah um anyways so <laughs> Until next time, next month, bye!